Welcome, music theory students, AP Music Theory. I'm Mr. Boardman. Um, bored, man. <laughs> uh, some call me the keyboard, man. No. Well, I used to surf, so I could be that bored, man. You better get used to it. It's going to be a lot of stupid jokes. Um, the main three things really to cover in this video are just the three things that we have to pick up when you do the textbook pickup. So I copied a packet of staff paper, music staff paper. Um, I'm going to let you guys use it, even though it's staff paper. <laughs> um, the textbook, Tonal Harmony. And there's an accompanying workbook to that textbook that says tonal harmony. So um, we had to use the last edition for two people, but almost all the pages are the same. So if we ever have a problem where I'm talking about a page number or something, we'll work that out. Um, so whatever edition it is, these texts don't change very much from year to year. Now, the thing about the workbooks are is um, the pages tear out. So these things are designed to just be issued to you once. And um, in school textbook land, they call them consumable. No. That just means you can write on it. So I would not highly recommend. We're, we were going to need some way for you guys to get me documents that you have written on. And it's like chemistry or, or math courses, whatever, whatever we're doing, where you have symbols that you can't type in and stuff. It's just not practical. We're going to have to write things on staff paper all the time. So I provided a PDF of that in Schoology in case you just want to print it out, but I know it chews up ink. And the good thing about the packets that I laid out um, with the textbooks is that the pages are double-sided. So conserve, you know, don't just write one example and then wad it up, chuck it over your shoulder. So th this should last a while. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of in-class physical classroom, the chorus room, uh, Promethean board exercises where I share your screen and then record the screen share. So that should be interesting. And it's, it's a unique class where we have all of the, the book stuff and the theory stuff and the mind stuff, but we also have performance and we also have dictation, which is listening. So those are the three elements of the course. Um, so that's another reason we need the staff paper because I will be actually playing the piano in the chorus room and you guys will be writing down what I play. And it sounds daunting, but you're going to get really good at that. Um, the other thing is, oh no, sight singing. <laughs> when I, my quick background is, this is the short version, is I was a marching band musician uh, way before I ever did chorus or taught chorus or was involved vocally in anything. So seventh grade through 12th grade, I was a trumpet player in a marching band. And I had been playing the piano since the age of eight, just, you know, a little bit of lessons, a little bit of family members teaching me and stuff. So I have that background first. The reason I'm telling you that is it weirded me out when I finally landed in a uh, college choir and I had to sing, I had all the musicianship part of it down rhythms, reading music, knowing what in my head I thought it should sound like. Um, but I never had any training going through like these hand signs and doing do re mi's and making sure that my voice can produce what I see on the paper. So it's not, I, I will never make anybody, well, <laughs> I guess you can't make anybody do anything, but you could just turn off your computer. But I won't ask you or pressure you to sing in front of the other students, but you will have to sing in front of 
or you will have to record your singing so we can practice that that's got to be a daily thing because that is part of the curriculum of the course and it's definitely on the ap test you have to do two recordings or you get to do two recordings however you want to put it um it's not in oh, a microphone it's basically just matching your voice to the notes and rhythms accurately whether your voice cracks or not whether you use do re mu <laughs> do re mus well that's the farm version um whether you use da 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 or any kind of neutral syllable is fine for the tests and stuff for us uh, i am going to do the do re mus at first um and online you know somehow give these hand signs to the seventh scale degrees to you um you could take them or leave them some people who are steeped in musicianship already on another instrument find it really clunky but but what i find is it um it accurately tunes your voice um, if you do this on a daily basis so anyway uh, that's the course content we've got to get the three things when you go in to get your textbooks and one thing about the meeting link i have been testing it out you may have to put in the meeting ID and password until I figure out what's going on. I might have created this with my uh, longer email address and they migrated this all um, during the week. So the information's in Schoology. The link, and then also I put it in the course information folder, the link. And even if you didn't have a Zoom account at all, I think you can just go to zoom.com and click join a meeting and enter the meeting ID that I provided and the password. There, there'll be a way. So just show up a couple of minutes early and everything's going to be all right. We're all going to get through, not just get through, we're going to come out on the other side, better musicians. And remember, even though this is AP music theory, it's still music class and it's fun. So I'm not going to pound you guys we just have to keep the pace going because obviously it's a four by four and we're compressed a little bit. So um, can't wait to see you on Tuesday and good luck with everything.